And back here at home, we are dealing with the heat. Mm -hmm. I, I think some folks might not mind a little bit of rain to cool things yeah, down we need a little that. bit. Yeah, yeah we, I, I would gladly love some rain because this heat is unbearable. The Saharan dust uh, is hurting uh, because, one, it doesn't make it for a nice, bright, and sunny day. Look at this haze so right over Miami, over MIA. There's the runway. So this is our camera right here at CBS4 in Doral. It's facing towards the airport. And then in Key West, it looks a little bluer, but you can tell there's still a bit of this haze hanging around, and it's all because of that Saharan dust. Current temperatures are starting to hit 90 degrees, but it is feeling much hotter than the actual temperatures. In fact, feels like temperatures are running well into the triple digits, at least at 101 degrees and above that. So in Kendall, you're sitting at 101 heat index, while in Miami, Homestead, 104, Miami Beach, 109, 110 six and west and so you get the picture it is hot 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 out there uh, these type of conditions can be dangerous if you're doing any activity outdoors so uh, definitely I emphasize keep yourself hydrated when you're outside all right for the kiddos back to school week and this afternoon well it's hot hazy and humid but you won't need the rain gear when the kids get out and you go pick them up or when the schools uh, school buses are dropping them off uh, at their neighborhoods although it's going to be hot out there at least we don't have to deal with the rain. Actual highs today will top 92 degrees. There's no rain on land. In fact, we've really seen things dry out in the morning. We had isolated showers. Any thunderstorms that develop will be well to the west of us over the Everglades. There's the Saharan dust. You can see it over Cuba, Florida Straits, wrapping around over the Bahamas and then out into the Atlantic as well. Here's that moisture tail attached to Henri and the center of Henri. Boy, it is sl it has slowed down. It is not stalled, but it's moving around five miles per hour right over New York State and into New England. So it's a slow mover right now as it's trying to make that turn towards the east direction. It is, however, a tropical depression. Rain is still spreading over parts of southern New England. Two other areas we're watching, not a concern for us. Those areas are very far away from South Florida and have a low chance for formation. For beachgoers today, that rip current risk is at a moderate level. No advisories for boaters. Seas today, two feet or less than that. The bay's at a moderate chop. And here's a look at that seven day forecast. So temperatures are going to run in the lower 90s each afternoon until Wednesday with feels like in the triple digits. But we do get some relief from the heat. However, it's not going to happen until Thursday as an upper level low comes our way. That's what's going to help to bring back the thunderstorms. And that will be key to dropping the temperatures at least back into the upper 80s.